Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Did you guys I'm have a good day? Yes, yes teacher. A little. And okay. Gal, yes. Good, good. That that is the the perfect expression. Thank God. Yes. Because everything that happens, it happens because of him. All right. Yes. So yes. were you in your house all day or did you work? I work. I work. Okay. I work. All right. Good, good. So what is today's date? Today is Tuesday. Today is Thursday. What what's the date? Thursday, yeah. What's the date? 16. It's July 16th. It's July 16th. Yes. 2020. That is correct. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. It's 8 o'clock already. Let's begin uh, today's session. Uh, let's start like every other class. Let's review yesterday's uh, session. Do you remember yesterday's topics? The present perfect teacher? Yes, present perfect. What is the function of present perfect? Okay, teacher. I understood is you is used when talking about experience from the past. Okay. And Good. a change or a situation that happening in the past. Okay. Maybe. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, like That's, Edward said, uh huh, yeah. The example is possible. She has gone to work. She has gone to work. Yes. So, um, like Edward said, when you talk about present perfect, you're talking about experiences that have happened in the past, but they are not completely finished. So, the example Edward said, he says, Ella se ha ido a trabajar. But, you know, she's going back to work tomorrow, next week, next year. So it's an action that already happened in the past, but it's not completely finished. So that is the simple present, I mean, the present perfect tense. So to talk about actions that are not completely finished. What's the auxiliary we use in the present perfect? Have or has. Have or has. What's the difference between those two? If you want to speak about we or they or you, you have to use have. And if you want to speak about she or he or, or it, it has. All right, good. Yeah. So they have exactly the same function. Um, the difference is the personal pronoun that you use. So how do you say have or has in Spanish? She has gone to work. Ha ido. Ah, only ah. She has gone to work. Ella ha ido a trabajar. We have been in our houses all day, every day. Nosotros hemos. So ha, e, hemos, that is, uh, what we say have or has in Spanish. What is the form of the verb? What is the form of the verb you use when you're using the present perfect? Pasado participio, past participio. Past participle. Past it doesn't participle. matter if in positive or negative, the verb always be in present part. It, exactly, very good. So like Gabriela says, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, or even a question form, uh, the form of the verb is always past participle. Yes. Okay. Um, someone asked, what was the function of the word ever? Do you remember the function of ever? What's the function of the word ever? Alguna vez. Exactly. So when we say alguna vez, it's, the question is very general. So have you ever gone to Disneyland? Have you ever broken a bone? Have you ever been in a helicopter? Alguna vez. 
Now, if you want to be very specific and say exactly when the action happened, then you have to use uh, the simple past tense. So have you ever been in an airplane? Yes, I have. I was in an airplane uh, last year when I went to Guatemala or when I went to Costa Rica, maybe. So if you want to be very specific, you have to use the simple past tense. Um, any questions about the present perfect? No? Nothing. Okay. Are you guys familiar with already and yet? What is the difference between already and yet? Does anybody know? Already means yeah, and yet means aún. Exactly, good. So we use already when the action is finished. So she has left already. Ella ya se fue. So it's positive. Or you can say, has she gone uh, to work? Not yet. Todavía no, aún no. So you use yet for negative sentences and you use already for positive ones. Any questions or comments? No? No questions, no comments about the present perfect? Yes, no, maybe. No. Okay. So um, what part of the platform are you doing right now? Uh, number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, unit four. Remember mm -hmm. that we, we finish the course uh, next week. So it is mandatory, it is imperative that you guys finish all the units so you guys can uh, continue with the next level. So it is mandatory okay. that you guys finish all your work. Remember that you need at least 80% of all the exercises and uh, once you get to the 80%, you will have a, an option where it says print certificate and, and, it'll, and it'll give you the option of getting a, a, a diploma. Any questions or comments? No? All right. Um, have you guys done the part uh, of the topic adverse of sequence? Let's start with the first question. What's the meaning of sequence? What do you understand by the word sequence? What is a sequence for you? I wrote that word in the chat. What is sequence? It's for indicate uh, step. To indicate? A step. Good. Right. So sequence of, uh, adverse of sequence are used to indicate steps. So when you are explaining something or when someone is telling you how to do something, they're telling you steps. So if I ask you, um, how do you prepare a ham and cheese sandwich? So you start with first, then, next, after, finally, and so on. Anybody else wants to uh, say something about adverse of sequence? No? You guys are quiet today. Why are you quiet? Can you hear me? <laughs> Yes, teacher. All yes, right. Teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. I'm sorry. So maybe it's Thursday and you are very tired already. Okay. So let Tomorrow me. Tomorrow uh, Friday, teacher. Yeah, that's that's. I think that's the the main reason why. Uh, okay, give me a second. I want to do something. Da da da. Base. 
what's today's date? Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, July 16th. Okay. All right. So let me show you um, a document. Okay. All right. Do you do you guys see the image? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. So sequence adverbs or adverbs of sequence. So first, then, next, after that. So first, first is first. Finally is finally. So when you start to explain a process you should start with first. When you finalize, when you finish, you should say finally. Now, then, next, and after that, they are synonyms. So in the image that I'm showing you right now, you say then, next, and after that. But in a real uh, case uh, conversation, you can start with next, then you go with then, and then you finalize with after that. Or you can start with after that, you continue with next, and then finally you say then. So they are synonyms. Now, what are they explaining in the example here? What are they explaining? So first, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Do you, do you guys like peanut butter? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, I like, I like peanut yeah. butter. Yeah. yeah, peanut butter is good, especially with jelly. Man, it's really good. So first, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then you toast the slices of bread. How do you say pan de caja in English? Do you remember pan de caja? You don't say box bread. Box bread. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let me let me write it for you in the uh, in the WhatsApp chat. And I'm still waiting to change my my cell phone. Hopefully, it will be next week. Hold on, it's taking a while. Anyways, you say love bread when you want to say pandekaja. You say love bread. So imagine that you go to a no, uh, let me let me write it for you. But this cell phone. L O A F. L O A F. Love bread. Oh. And but this cell phone is taking forever. Okay. Let me. Yeah, it, it's finally there. Let me see. Love, 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 love. Okay, eight to nine. Eight to nine. So when you go to internet, when you have the chance, um, you put love bread. So imagine that you go to a supermarket and you forgot how to say love bread. What would be an option to, um, to say pan de caja in English? What do you make with, with a love bread? Sandwich bread. A sandwich, right. So let's say you forgot how to say love bread. You ask the lady, I, excuse me, I need a, a sandwich bread. And they will understand what you're saying. But the real name is love bread. Okay. So um, then you toast the slices of bread. Next, you spread the mixture on the toast. After that, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. And finally, fry the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. So imagine you have a little brother or a little sister and you're explaining him or her how to prepare a peanut butter um, and banana sandwich together. This is how you should do it. Um, any questions so far about sequence adverbs? No, teacher. No? no. Okay, let me take a picture. I hope this cell phone doesn't get stuck. 
Have you guys finished this part in the platform? Not yet? Yes. No. Not yet. In my okay. yes, not yet. All right. So some of you said yes, some of you said no. Uh, just make sure it's, it's finished before uh, when we finalize the course. Okay. okay. Let me see this here. New share. there okay do you see that image yes yes okay what do you see on top what is on top three tablespoons of peanut butter one banana mashed two slices of bread and two tablespoons butter melted what is that exactly those are the ingredients so, how do you say receta in English? Receta de comida? Recipe. Recipe, exactly. So, I'm, I'm writing it on the, on the WhatsApp chat, recipe. How do you say receta de medicina? Prescription. Prescription. So yeah. in the chat, I wrote recipe and I also wrote prescription. So remember, if you're talking about food, you should say recipe. If you're talking about medicine, then you need to say prescription. So who gives you a recipe? A chef. Who gives you a prescription? A doctor. So in Spanish, we use the same word receta, but in English, you have to be very specific. And if you're talking about food, you should say recipe. If you're talking about medicine, you should say prescription. Um, any questions so far? No. Mm -hmm. So um, you have that there. Let me take a picture of it. So what I want you to do, you guys will work in pairs. And imagine that, uh, that you're sharing one of your recipes, if you like to cook, or if you know how to clean computers, you explain that too. Anything you would like to explain, do it. Just make sure that you use um, sequence adverbs so, to, so you guys make your explanation very clear. So I sent you a picture of this. So you have that as, a, 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 as an example. It's in the WhatsApp chat. So what I will do right now, I will assign you to working pairs. So uh, let's see, where are you guys? You guys are right here. And here we go. When you get together, you will tell your friend, let me explain how to prepare a maruchan or I will explain to you how to prepare spaghetti with mushrooms, <laughs> or let me explain to you how to drive a standard car, mechanic car. So, or, or if you know how to ride a motorcycle, anything that comes to your mind, but you need to apply adverse of sequence. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. All yes. right, so here we go. Hello, Juan Ho.
Uh, Saúl. Ajá. Zaira. Uh, uh, you explain your recipe. Recipe. Tan importado, no entiendo, no le pude comprender muy bien. What's uh, going on, Juan uh, Juan? Sí. Do you have questions, Juan Jose? I can't listen, teacher. I don't listen. Can you hear me? A little, teacher. Okay, you're supposed to explain how to do something, how to prepare a sandwich, how to drive a standard car, how to uh, clean your room or anything, how to send an email, any simple process where you need to apply adverse of sequence. Is it clear? For me, yes, but Juan have a problem with the with the headset? Oh, with the mic or, or the internet? I don't know. Okay, so we will do something. I'm going to move you guys somewhere else. So okay, Clara, I will move you to room three, and Juanjo, I will move you to room four. Oh, hey. Okay. Because when you bake that kind of bread, for example, if you mix very strong and in the air go away to the bread uh, the bread is very is no softer bread you, you didn't obtain a, a softer bread and then when you when you bake that 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 bowl and you mix yeah you put the you mix all ingredients and finally, you add the butter with um, salt, tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. And that is all. <laughs> simple. And you, what? Nice and simple. Yes. And you have a, a delicious spaghetti. Okay. Oh, you were explaining spaghetti. <laughs> yes. What what ingredients do you use when you prepare spaghetti? I use onions, um, tomatoes, paper. Maybe I don't remember how to say chile. Yeah, uh, green peppers. paper. Green pepper. Uh huh. Green pepper, and I add uh, um, cream or butter. Okay. And tomato tomato sauce. All right. And how much time do you use to, to have it ready? Maybe in 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yes. Yeah. So that's very convenient uh, in terms of time. You know, you prepare yourself a, a meal real quick. Yes. Yeah. If you don't have a lot of time, you mm -hmm. can prepare some spaghetti. Good, good. All right. <laughs> okay. I scramble egg. You can prepare. <laughs> can you repeat? I don't understand. Can you prepare a scramble egg? What is the Sorry, name? sorry for the interaction, but <laughs> yes. Yeah, what, what is this? <laughs> In Spanish, uh, we call huevo it pic uh -huh. huevo yeah. picado. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, yes, yes. But my favorite food is lasagna. Oh. You like pastas? Pasta, yes. So much. And um, 
I really like it. But I really don't don't know prepare it, but I only see what when my mother doing cooks. Oh. Cooks. Um you only eat with your when your <laughs> mother cooks. It's very only eat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the best way. The best yeah. part. Yeah, you enjoy it more. Yes. Yeah. Okay. When I you, Clara? Um, I don't. I don't cook. <laughs> Only my mother cook in the house. Okay. Oh. And what what plans do you have when you get married? Who's going to cook? I don't marry, teacher. <laughs> you're you're not gonna get married. And no. <laughs> okay. Or or maybe I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Consume. <laughs> and wait until the the water <laughs> evaporates. Evapor okay. Wait to to the water evaporate. Um the rice is, is ready. <laughs> okay. It has a lot of uh, uh, ingredients, no? Yes. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's too much work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very uh, good. It's, 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 it's uh, delicious. Yeah. What dish? Lasagna, teacher. Yeah. What kind of lasagna do you guys prefer? Meat, vegetables, chicken? Mm, chicken. Uh huh. Maybe <laughs> chicken with cheese. Yeah. Or a, or a combination. Yeah. Chicken or yeah. Meat. Yeah. Mixed lasagna is good too. Yeah. Do you guys eat vegetables? Yes. Yeah. What is your favorite? Mm, carrots. Carrots. <laughs> carrots are good. <laughs> And potatoes. Yeah. Oh, I love potatoes. Yes. With lemon and salt. Lemon and salt with potatoes? Yes. Really? really? <laughs> yes. I, I never, never me neither. I never tasted uh, potatoes really? and lemon. No. <laughs> I but put cheese, uh, salt, or some Jalisco, but never lemon. Yes. <laughs> with carrots. Potatoes, carrots with lemon and salt are very delicious. Ah, so, okay. yeah, sounds appetite. Uh, it sounds like a good appetizer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, where is everybody else? Uh -huh -huh. Well, they're coming back in half a minute. Do you guys use your emails every day? Do you send emails every day? No. No. Okay. Do you check your Facebook every day? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you check your WhatsApp every day? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. What is your main, your principal main uh, mean of communication? How do you communicate with others? Uh, maybe WhatsApp chat. Yeah. Uh, For yeah. me, WhatsApp chat too. Mm -hmm. What kind of chat? Uh, with my uh, partners at the university or with my family. Okay. So you're talking about WhatsApp or 
Google or Messenger? What kind of chat? Uh, I think no. For, no what is is okay. Uh, a messenger maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. My favorite is uh, WhatsApp. I think WhatsApp is very convenient, and uh, it's easy to use. It's very simple to use it. So no complications. Yeah. So it's 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 very friendly. So and it's very effective too. Yeah. Okay. For okay. me, I prefer a, a call teacher. Okay. Yeah, I think that if, if the message or the topic you want to discuss is serious, I think the best thing to do is speak with the person. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do you prefer to write or do you prefer to send a voicemail? Then voicemail. Voicemail. Right. You prefer, prefer to write. To write. Okay. Yeah, I prefer white. All right. You know, I, I if I have someone and I speak, you know, I have a lot of communication with this person, like family members, brothers, I send uh, voicemails better than than writing. First, because the cell phone that I have right now is not that good. It is kind of complicated to be typing. So I prefer to send a, a, a voicemail. Okay, um, any questions about your explanation on how to do something? No, really. Can you drive a standard car? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Okay. What is the first thing you need to do before you turn the key in a car, in a standard car? What do you do with the stick? Enclochar, pero no sé cómo se dice. I don't know what to say. In okay, you, you press the clutch. Yes, press the clutch. Yeah. For what? What is the function of pressing the clutch? In my case, my my car don't don't start is you don't press press a clutch. Oh, okay. That that's a good observation. Some okay. cars, uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, other function of the clutch is you can change the, the speed or the velocity. Yep, yep. So before you start the car, where does the stick need to be? So in neutral? In neutral, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's why sometimes you need to press clutch and move the stick to neutral. And in some cases, like uh, Edward's car, you need to press the clutch so the car can start. Okay. So, you know, like the ones that drive stick cars, you know that you need to press the clutch if you want to change velocity. All right. Um, any questions yeah. or comments about adverse of, of sequence? How do no you pre how do you prepare a, a ham and cheese sandwich? Something very simple. How do you prepare a ham and cheese sandwich? How do you? Can you make a ham and cheese sandwich? Yes. Maybe you put a little the a little mayonnaise. Uh huh. Over the bread, uh -huh. and then some put a lettuce, a tomato, uh -huh. ham. Then to put a, you can put a, a yellow cheese or American cheese. Uh huh. Craft cheese. Craft cheese. Craft is a is a bread. Yeah. 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 I don't know what is the yeah. name of that, of that cheese. And you put over the, the other slice of bread. Right. And after? You try them. Exactly. You eat them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do you say buen provecho in English? You tell the person, enjoy. 
So, so when you go to a cafeteria or a restaurant and you see people eating, you tell them enjoy. Some people prefer they say enjoy your food, but just the word enjoy is is enough. All right. Anybody else wants to share? Only enjoy. Yeah, only enjoy. Yeah. So okay. enjoy, and people know that you're saying buen provecho. Now, okay. uh, th there is a universal expression bon appetit but um mm. it's it's not english but people use it a lot yeah. too so bon appetit bon appetit but if you want to say it in english you say enjoy okay, okay. so uh for next week uh we have a topic that is very important and it's uh future uh when you use will when you use going to so the first week of, of, of the session, we studied the simple past. Uh, yesterday, we were practicing with the present perfect. And next week, we're going to be using future, how to use will, how you use uh, going to. Can someone tell me the differences between will and going to? What are the differences? I don't remember well, but I remember you can use going to when you when you are sure about what you do. Okay. And you use will maybe when it's a pro, probability. Yeah, good. Very good. Your answer is correct. Grammatically speaking, um, when you have plans, you have an agenda, you have arrangements and everything, you should say going to. If it's a possibility, then you should say will, grammatically speaking. Now, in a real life situation, you can use will, you can use going to, and, and the message is exactly the same. Nobody's going to say, no, don't say going to, it's will. Or the other way around, don't say will, it's going to. So anyways, like Claudia says, if it's a plan, you use going to. If it's a possibility, you use will. Um, any questions there so far? No. Questions? No? Okay. So let me show you this. Do you guys see the questions? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. So this is your space to practice your pronunciation and your fluency. Fluency and accuracy. So let me take a picture of the questions. Send it to the WhatsApp chat. You can take a screenshot right now if you wish. And I will assign you again. So you guys work in pairs, but I will make changes. So I will have uh, Gabby, you will go to room five and Clara will go to room five as well. And then we will change with Rebecca. And we will change Eduardo with Claudia. All right, here we go.
Okay. Like now. Okay, <laughs> okay right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, number one. We just start today. Question, for example, how often do you think about the future? I with the ah no sé cómo cómo decir con tanta cosa que pasa en estos días va a menudo pensamos en el futuro. So many things happening. How frequent do you think about the future, Saúl? Okay, teacher. Do you think about the future very much? Yes. Do you have children, Saul? Yes, I have a, I have a, a, da a daughter. A daughter. Hey, daughter. How old is she? Uh, she, she three months old. Three months? <laughs> yes. A, a, a new baby, a brand new baby. Yes, it's What's my first baby. Oh, <laughs> how old are you, Saul? Mm, I am? Yeah, how old are you? Uh, I am 20, 28 years old. Okay, that's a good time to bring babies. What's the baby's name? Uh, his name is uh, Gianna. Gianna. Gianna Elisa. Good, good, good. Does she look like you or does she look like her mother? Mm, sorry, teacher, repeat, please. Does the baby look like you or does she look like the mother? Uh, the people, the people say it, uh, it's, uh, look at me. Okay, she looks like you. She looks, yes. Okay, good. good. <clears throat> Nice, congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Welcome to the club. Okay. Can go like mm -hmm. uh, But um, the, the family are more important that. Well, the situation, the situation has, has learned that to, to every, everybody. Yes. Okay, number three. What comes to mean when you think about your future? What comes to mind when you think about your future? What comes to mind? I don't know, but I... <laughs> yeah. Okay. The number three, uh, what comes to mind when you think about the future for a future? About the future. It's similar to the first. Yeah. Two question. It's similar. Uh, what comes to mind when you think about your future? I think we are in worry about Ah, maybe we are worried about the the older person or the older family. Yes, I think uh, yeah. it's more probably they have more more problem about health. Yeah. Okay. The other question: What do you hope for you on future? I hope of in my dream and living very, in the USA in my future. Very, very good. It's uh, it's possible. It's so difficult for the situation, but um, neither is is impossible. Okay. But, but it's the reason for for living English in the in this moment. 
because in the, future, in the in the future I I will live in in the USA. It's very good. Do you have family in USA? Yes, yes, I had too many family in in the USA. I had uh, aunts, cousins, many, many, and friends too. And they tell told me, and they helped me help me in, in the USA. What ah, part? What part of the United States, Edward? And in my case, I prefer to live in the Houston, Texas, Houston, Texas, or California, California. because my my family lives in in the in the city. Okay. But it's so difficult because my mother don't don't help me and go to the USA in an illegal person. Uh huh. Okay, and is is my problem because I don't know how to do. But it's my dream is to live in the USA. Okay, what what part of California are you considering? In, I don't remember the the name, but my family lives in Pomona. Yeah, Pomona. Pomona, and but. It's so difficult in, in, in California because it's too many people in, in this in this country. But it's the reason for, for prefer to live in, in Houston. Okay. Yeah. But it's, okay. Yeah. Pomona has a lot of people, you know, a lot of Latinos and everything. So that's good. You have I really, plans. I really hope to, to move in the another year or, or or another, or another, but it's my, it's my dream. It's my meta, it means achievement. Okay, good. That's good that you, you're planning to go to the States. Thank you, teacher. All right. <laughs> that, that. You, how do you think about that? Yes, I, I have, we have seven years. Wow. So you you have more probabilities <laughs> than me, <laughs> but I don't I don't like to, uh, to, go to get married. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so you have seven years of what? You say you had seven years. Yes, with with my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> so marriage will come soon, maybe. <laughs> maybe, teacher. Good. Maybe in ten years. Say. <laughs> ten years. My goodness. <laughs> ten years. <laughs> or That's, twenty. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes, like, uh, uh, you know, like your boyfriend, girlfriend. Many times it's better to stay like that because when you get married, you know, people change and everything. But in other cases, it helps the relationship to be in a better uh, situation. Yes. So yes. everybody's a different case. Good. Thing. What future? Ah. <laughs> what futuristic? Things from science fiction movies do you want to happen in real life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you watch science fiction movies? Well, for the... no. <laughs> no. Maybe, uh, no. Or, or maybe not necessarily a science fiction movie. It can be a romance uh, movie, a comedy, or drama. I don't know. Different ones, different mm -hmm. genres. Okay. And is the hospital are, are how to say, busy? Busy? Busy. 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 Busy, yes, yeah, the hospital are busy and they can't receive more people, and that is a yeah. big problem. I know in San Salvador some hospitals receive people or attend the people outside. 
Oh my God. Outside, outside the hospital. Oh my God. Yeah, the situation yeah. is getting serious uh, each day. You know, we have like 10 dead people every day now because of the COVID-19. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah and, for that, for for that reason, I say, Clara. Uh, nowadays, when I think about the future, I think in coronavirus. Yep. <laughs> you know, every day when I wake up, I thank God that I'm alive and and I feel well. You know. Yeah. So right, right now, the mission is staying alive. You know. Yeah. Work is secondary. Your job is secondary. Everything is secondary. Now your priority is. Staying alive. Yeah, and we yes. need to be careful about our life. Yeah, you be must. Careful with, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, because it's, nowadays it's necessary to use a face mask every day. Yeah, yeah. It, it's part of your dressing code, you know, like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's more important than the shirt, the blouse, the skirt you're going to wear. I mean, the, the mask is priority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Which one were you discussing? I was talking about an anime series. Uh-huh. So its name is Big Order. Okay. It's about it's about wishes. Okay. So each person can be real one wishes, only one wishes the 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 principal, the big the big wish this person has. Okay. So I would like this could be real. Yeah, yeah. If you had a wish and you know, like, and they said, okay, uh, Rebecca, make a wish. We'll make your wish come true. What will you ask? Well, I think, um, uh, could be, uh, my wish could be the poor, pobreza? Poverty. Finish. Poverty, Poverty finish. Finish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, life will be very different if we didn't have poverty. Yeah. Yeah, change people's lives. All right. That's true. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What is it? Uh, make the poverty in Africa. Okay. So you will help Africa. Yeah. All right. How would you help Africa? Uh, uh, I don't know that uh, for our children. Uh huh. You will bring them food and medicine and all that. Medicine. Yeah. All right. Good. Or maybe uh, adopt uh, one children. Uh huh. One child. Yeah, that'll be even. You know, that would be good. Like, you know, if you can adopt a child, that would help a lot. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you guys have any questions about today's uh, session? Any questions about today, class? No. Okay. So you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to do a uh, the things that you like doing. So if you don't have any questions or comments, we're going to finish the class here. Thank you very much for making the space and I'll see you Monday at eight o'clock. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. All right, thank you Good guys. Bye-bye, good, good night. Bye. Bye.